According to a lawsuit filed on January 12th, Nexo, a crypto lender, has sued the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority for denying it registration as a VASP. In rejecting Nexo's registration, the lender claims that the regulator gave too much weight to regulators' enforcement actions. Nexo has asked the court to overturn CIMA's decision because it is suitable to provide crypto services to Cayman Islands residents. Nexo's application was rejected by CIMA on December 20th, stating that the company's business model did not meet the required risk profile. Nexo posed a threat to market confidence, consumer protection and the island's reputation as a financial centre. According to the lawsuit, Nexo directors and shareholders failed to disclose potential regulatory enforcement matters in the United States and proceedings in English courts to CIMA. Nexo's legal counsel claims that CIMA's decision was procedurally unfair. It also claims that the regulator violated its constitutional and statutory duties by failing to provide Nexo with the detailed reason for the VASP license rejection. The Banco Central NG Filipinas has announced that it will not pursue a retail version of its central bank digital currency, instead focusing on transaction between financial institutions. The central bank confirmed that it remains keen on launching a wholesale CBDC in the future to improve settlement times between banks. BSP previously announced the launch of its wholesale CBDC pilot program, dubbed Project CBDC PH, in which several leading financial institutions will participate. The BSP's Reluctance to investigate a retail or general-purpose CBDC stems from a fear that Filipinos will perceive the offerings as just another payment mechanism competing for customers' attention. The payment industry in the Philippines has been described as oversaturated, with the plethora of fintech platforms providing customers with a variety of payment options. A wholesale CBDC, according to BSP, Consultative paper would be ideal for addressing the issues associated with using commercial bank funds in equities and settling large international transfers. On 17 January, German online bank N26 announced that it would expand the list of countries where its customers could trade cryptocurrencies to include Germany and Switzerland. N26 also stated that it would provide the service to customers in Belgium, Portugal and Ireland. In its first foray into the asset class, N26 began offering crypto trading to a limited number of customers in Austria only last year. The prices of major cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether have plummeted in the last year as the global market downturn prompted investors to flee risky assets and as Sam Bankman fees FTX failed. N26 stated that the expanded trading would be phased in over the next few weeks. Founded in 2013, the Berlin-based bank has been cited by regulators for lapses in its anti-money laundering controls. The bank has said that it has made improvements. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Bank of England Governor questions need for digital pound. Tanzanian Central Bank adopts phased and risk-based approach to adoption of CBDC. Brazil's second largest private bank launches first tokenized credit note. Stay tuned for more updates. Oh,